This UVA squad is on fire. They're out to a really nice lead there in lane six. And of course, like you said, this squad right here, they set a record of 325 13s. We'll keep an eye on that time as we look to close out the back half of this race. Max Edwards dives in for UVA in lane six. He's gonna look to maintain that lead that Nichols put in place for the Cavaliers. And the beautiful thing about this event, you get to see a little bit of everything that you're going to see the rest of the day as well, right out of the gate. Yeah, the thing about all these swimmers, they're so fast, they're so consistent, and they're so strong. It's like a sprint here. It's amazing how they've been able to save this energy and, and Hussey really closing in here on the flags. Can he finish? More than closing in, he's able to come to the wall. Dead heat between Thompson and Huzzy. What a show they put on what? in front of the fans here on Alumni Weekend. Unbelievable. A 9.24.03. A fantastic time. Close to a pool record. Not quite, but what an incredible swim. I love looking at Walsh's techniques here. Off the walls. She's so strong underwater getting as much distance as she can, breathing every stroke here into the flags. Her walls are so efficient. Fong took advantage of that slower turn for North Carolina on that last split time. <laughs> Fong has caught him. The starts are so crucial in these sprint events. What a takeoff there in lane four. Roundstead of UVA really started this race off on a high note off the block and look to finish things off through the flags. Drew, we both know how critical it is to hit those backs and gainers and your women, Charlotte Bowen and Jennifer Bell nailed theirs on three meter. How have they both been so efficient when it comes down to the most critical dives of the contest? Well, it's funny because uh, that's what we focus on the most, at least in the first half of the year, is backs and gainers. Because when it comes, like you said, when you come down to the bigger meets, usually that's the difference maker. So we spend a lot of time on those. It's truly a treat to watch Anton Down Jenkins, your senior on three meter, which is his event. How have you seen him grow, not only as an Olympian, but also as a college athlete? Uh, Anton is, is huge. 23-30 for a split time for Walsh and a 23-33 for County said it right now, Linder setting the pace. She is really, really nice underwater, maintaining that kick. Her head is really still. You want to keep your head as still as possible in the backstroke, just taking advantage. You see how long she stays underwater with that butterfly kick. And keeping her kick strong throughout the entire race. Nichols coming in with a 29.70. Still faster than his teammate, who had a 30-20. Incredible swim for Jack Wright. You want to see that he had split times in the 27 range, started off at a 26, and then ended with a 26-57. Tremendous push there at the end for Jack Wright. It's a really long race, a race you have to be very versatile, good at all the strokes. Got to keep them all at the same pace don't want any of the strokes to drop off so you can see the versatility in a swimmer like Ella Nelson and all these swimmers in the pool but Nelson currently leading the way here in lane six for Virginia.